Hello, all of my YouTube friends. I am heading out to milk the cows and it is in the upper 90s, mid to upper 90s here in Eastern Washington. Um, yeah, I have this exciting video of the new parlor. We have been milking our new parlor for over a year now, but I have yet to show you a video of milking the cows in the new parlor. So I'm really excited. Um, we have four cows to milk. One is not even our cow. We're actually boarding it for somebody. She's going to be leaving this week. So she's just a new, a fresh cow. Um, you'll tell from the video. She's, she has hardly any udder there, but I'm excited to show you guys our parlor and how it looks and how we use it. For any of you guys interested in having a little homestead parlor, this one's definitely not a one cow. Like you can have one cow, but this one you, we, we can do up to four at a time. It's awesome. Here, let me show you the parlor once I get our little light going here. All right, so I just stepped in this doorway. Woo, here we are. Here is our wonderful little parlor setup, you guys. It's so awesome. Before we just had like a lean-to uh, that we used and here we have an actual milking setup. We have a low line milk system. So the milk goes in that line and that goes out into our next um, room. But this is where we milk the cows. Um, the setup is real simple. So the cows step up and they eat grain and they absolutely love it in here. It is an embankment barn, which means that it's basically into the dirt. See that cement, that's dirt on the other side. So the, the parlor stays nice and cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And we are in the process of a big surprise coming up, which I'm not gonna tell you guys about just yet. This is our milk room. So the milk comes in here. This pipe on the floor, actually we're going to attach it to, um, we're gonna feed some just baby calves this milk today. Um, I usually will put it into our little milk vat, it's a 30 gallon vat. And then we also have a pasteurizer over there. So, um, but just this evening, we're just gonna save it for some baby calves. So we have our sink here where we wash everything. We have a clean in place system. It's so nice. So we just have to attach everything. We do have to drain the tub in between each washing. Um, but other than that, it's a nice clean in place system, which means it's pretty hands off, which we love. So no further ado, let's get started and milk our wonderful cows. So one of the first things I do is I have to set up the whole system I have to make sure that all of um, the milking units are ready. I put grain in the front. See, there's grain right there. I put grain in the front so they're all ready. They know they're getting grain in here and so you'll see they'll be like really excited to come in. So um, it's kind of fun to see that process. The cows absolutely love this parlor and it's been so wonderful to see. So um, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys.
So that's Annabelle and Aurora and Jetta. And then this is the one that we're boarding for somebody who is going to be leaving this weekend. She cabbed a little early. We weren't expecting that. She cabbed uh, over a week early. So if you come in the pump house, or not pump house, the milk house. Oh, here you go. So the milk just pumps right in here. And so I could take this metal part off and have it so it's just this length. And then I tip it over and then it can go in here. So then we could just open this up. It can go in our nice little milk tank. Um, but yeah, it's a real simple setup. And so what I do, our, I usually have little helpers here helping me, but I move this whoop, so it's in the next tank. Or, man, I'm not coming up. Oh, here's my helpers. Here we are. He's the one that's gonna fill the bottles, and then the rest of this milk is gonna go to our beavers. Ah, uh, this one, I bet. Thanks, buddy. So a question I get from people that come and watch our cows get milked is, how do you know when they're done being milked? Well, two things. Their udder is smaller, and you can tell there's just not very much milk coming out anymore, and I'll show you. You see this girl here? Look at that. Here, I'll hold her tail. You see her udder is small. It was small to begin with, but look at there's just not much milk coming out. She's almost done. Jetta here is also almost done. She doesn't have much milk coming out anymore. You can just tell. There's just not much coming out. This girl has a bunch coming still. See that? And so does Annabelle. And you can tell our cows are well trained because they have to be on a halter to come here.
for all the cows back. Something I failed to mention was, what did I put on the cows earlier? It's a pre-dig. So ours is blue. Sometimes it comes with like an iodine color too. But this basically is what you first put on the cow's udder and it's a good way to stimulate the teeth so they let down their milk, but it also cleans it. So we don't want to just wipe dry teeth that they have caked on poop or whatnot. This is just something we put on, it cleans it, and then it's good to go. I have another helper over here who doesn't want to be by the camera. Ah! This is Jacob. Hey, bud. Are you guys done? Yep. So what we do is once we're done milking, we just turn it to the off. off to wash and all I have to do is plug the sink and then I turn this knob to and then it starts to fill up the sink. It's pretty awesome. Everything's clean, and now we're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna get something to drink because I'm really, really, really warm. Um, so yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. Hey, Snarfy. Hi. Bye-bye, Snarfy.